Hello everyone, if you have a data set where you need to import data from external sources, fix user error or merge data from multiple sources, then you know how important it is to learn converting Excel number stored as text. Here you can do this in a click. So this is Jihadrian Jim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several methods on how to convert Excel number stored as text. Before getting into the business, let's talk about the dataset a bit. Here we have a list of employees along with their name, age and ID. But you have a problem here. That is the age column group has stored as text. At this point, we want to convert Excel number stored as text. In this video, we'll talk about six solutions to solve this problem. So without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we will fix the issue using flash fill feature in Excel. At first, we have the D column where every cell have been saved as the text value. We want to convert them, so we'll go to the E column and in the E5 cell, we have to write down the same value of the D5. Now, we'll write down 23. After that, we'll do the same for the next E6 cell. We have to select both the cells and drag it down to the very last cell. You'll see at the right corner, you will have autofill option. Select flash fill from here and now you'll see you have got your perfect result. Let's compare both of them. In the D column, you have the values as text. But now in the flash fill section, that means in the E column, you have the values as the number. So that's how you can easily fix the issue using flash fill feature in Excel. Sometimes when we double click on a cell containing numbers in disguise of text, a smart tag will pop up as green triangle in the left corner of the cell. We can use this smart tag to fix our numbers stored as text in Excel in our new method. To do that, we'll select the whole D column and now select the smart tag in the left corner and select convert to number section. Now you'll see your every cell have been converted into number from text. So that's how we can easily utilize the smart tag feature. In our new method, we can also change cell format to solve the problem. To do that, we'll select the whole D column, go to Home tab. In the number section, select the General option and then you'll see you have got your perfect result. Every cell of the column D has been converted into number. So that's how we can utilize changing cell format to solve the problem. We can also solve our problem by using paste special feature in Excel. To do that, we'll select the whole D column and copy it by using Ctrl plus C in the keyboard. We'll go to the F column and in the home section, we have to select the paste. In the paste section, you have to click on the paste special to open the paste special dialog box. Here, you have to select values in the paste section and click OK. Then you got your perfect result. Now, if we compare both the cells, then you'll see in the column D, you have the values as text, but in the column F, you have the values as number. So that's how you can easily utilize paste special feature in Excel. We will try utilizing paste special and multiply option to solve our problem. To do that, at first, we'll go to the F5 cell and insert one here. Now we'll copy it by using Ctrl plus C. Now select the whole D column and in the home tab, select the paste option and go to the paste special feature. Here you'll have paste special dialog box where you need to select multiply in the operation section. If you click OK, then you'll see your whole column D have been converted into number. So that's how we can solve our problem by utilizing 
this special as multiply feature in Excel. In our last method, we want to apply value function to solve our problem. To do that, we'll go to the E5 cell and write down the value function. The value function is used to convert a text into number. So we'll select D5 cell as our text and now hit the enter button to get our perfect result. Now you will see the D5 cell was marked as text but the E5 cell have been converted into the number section. Now drag down the formula to apply it to all the cells then you will see your every cell have been converted into number. So that's how you can easily solve your problem by applying value function. So that's it for today. You can use any of these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelim.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.